All right, guys, well, you've got DJ Squib here, another session of Frag Fantastic Retro Arcade Gaming. And we're going to have another bash on Project Cars 2. Um, we're going to be driving around Scotland. All right, so this is the car we're going to be in. It's the Ford Escort RS 1600 Racing. So when I was a kid, my dad had one of these, but not the race setup one, it was just a road car. And then we're going to be driving around Scotland. Nice bit of countryside. Right, we're going to be starting at the back of the pack. Um, so the whole idea of this is just get to the front as cleanly as we can. It's going to be sort of based on an old retro arcade game. You know, you always start at the back of the pack. You've got to battle your way through. We're using the gear shift, not using the paddles. Uh, all driver assists are turned off. No driving lines, no nothing. Um, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> right, not a bad start. Let's see how far we can get down the middle before they block us. Weaving and dodging. Coming through. <laughs> oh, I've lost it. Oh, go on, mate. Right, coming up to a nice little village. Pub on the right hand side, we're going for a virtual beer. <laughs> Look at those mountains, do love Scotland. a bit dicey around there. Hands are getting sweaty already. Oh, there's a dodgy bit here with bumps so if you don't slow down you end up losing it. Oh, a bit of glitching going on then. Yeah, we went when we went to Scotland. It was a mate's wedding, uh, and we toured around Scotland. We ended up climbing up Ben Nevis Mountain. It took us about seven, seven and a half hours to get up and back, but really, really worth it. The views we saw was out of this world. Ended up climbing in cloud, and but we got to the top. And I tell you what, I ate for a few days. I oh, know, mate. Yeah, you come through. <laughs> yeah, we ate for days after that, so. But it was, it was all good. So on the way back, we, we stopped at Blackpool. At the time, I had a little white Toyota High Ace long wheelbase van, which 
chuck some sleepy bags in the back, you know, that sort of stuff. Well, that was a bit slow around there, Squibby. Come on, mate, give it some welly. <laughs> Yeah, taking all these drivers assist off, it is making it fun. Um, making it a little bit harder, obviously, because you've got to do, you've got no ABS and stabilising, and but then the car, the Escort in the day didn't have all that, so. No, I don't want to pit. Lost me dials and stuff for a minute then. What is, I don't know what happened then. I must have hit the wrong button. Right, drop the third. <laughs> Get them around there. It's like, like being in the, like the professionals, you know. <laughs> Neck a free, skidding round corners. Alright, we've got 14 minutes, let's see if we can hold this position. So I'd have been happy to get, you know, in the top three, but obviously there's still a lot of race left, so let's uh, not count our chickens before they hatch, you know. Sure the camera's still recording, yeah, it's all good. So if anyone wants to see us do any other courses or different cars, just leave it down in the comments and I will I will reply. I might even do a <coughs> oh, excellent. I might even do a, a qualifying round or something like that, you know. But I do like doing this starting at the back or the middle of the pack and battling your way through. I've only got the the the, uh, the car AI. Uh, I've got it set on default, so what what the game was set at. Uh, you know, later that I might up that. So I've only only been driving uh, this Project Cars 2. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, keep hold of it. <laughs> Stop talking on the bench, Squibby. Oh, it's all gone wrong now, all right. But yeah, it is fun starting at the back or the middle of the pack and you know driving as cleanly as you can obviously we're up against uh, AI and we all know what uh, AI is about it can get a little bit shovy you know and it adds to the fun doesn't it you know
yeah, when we went to Scotland, we did the uh, a cruise on on the lock, Loch Ness and all that. Didn't see Nessie though, but you know. <laughs> Excellent, new personal best, eh? Crash those gears. Awesome. Cheers, matey. hands Only problem is one little slip up, and uh, you'll soon lose all that that three seconds. Oh, like that, like, like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. <laughs> Get on the road. <laughs> Just as I said, yeah, one slip up, and it happens. Cooked it. Alright, they're all over us again now, so. Yeah, I can see you on my left hand side. You go through. One thing I have noticed with the AI, they can approach a corner at lightning speed and they can break and, and get round a corner without crashing. And that's just the AOS set on default settings, you know. God knows what it'd be like if I put it up to 100 uh, and, and put the aggression up as well. I think the AI is on, I think they're, is up, I think their percentage is 50 and their aggression is 60. Obviously out of 100. Yeah, drive carefully. Always makes me laugh that sign. National speed limit applies and we're doing what, 100, 110, 120? <laughs> Brilliant.
Thank you, matey. I can only imagine what it'd be like to do this in real life. You, I mean, you imagine how fit the drivers are. And the nearest thing I got to real driving was uh, I did go-karting. <coughs> I did go-karting when I was a kid, but nothing, nothing spectacular. It was just down at one of the local fairgrounds that you know where I live in the south end and they've still got the go go kart track there now obviously it's changed a little bit I think they're, they're restricted but you used to have fun on them but I've always liked driving games even when I was a kid just to, you know, we're a little kid going the arcades. If it had a steering wheel on the arcade game, didn't matter if it was standing up or sitting down, that was it, that was me. And obviously that progressed onto the, the home console games and and then PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, I had a steering wheel, foot pedals. And that was uh, playing Burnout, if anyone remembers that, what an awesome game. Obviously there was other games though, but I remember Burnout mostly with the wheel. And then, obviously Gran Turismo on the PlayStation, what an awesome game that was. Oh, I'm taking it a bit slow around here. That was my fault, you hit me up the arse. But yeah, Gran Turismo and all them sort of driving games. Flat Out on the Xbox, cool, what a good game that was. And then, what was it, Forza Motorsports on the Xbox? That was a cool game, but you know, that was playing on a pad. Oh. And I've stuffed it. And I've got just under three minutes. I've got to do this. Slow down a bit, Squiddy, come on, boot it. Yeah, I had to go on uh, Project Cars 1, but I was only using a, a gamepad with that. So this is the first okay, final lap. The final lap. proper game Find with, a, the with the wheel so pedals and that. So I'll get round Two minutes to go. Crash it in third. Now this is where it gets a little bit heated because he's going to come around the edge. <laughs> he crashed out. But yeah, this is fun using this wheel and pedals and the gear shift. Even doing it on the paddles on the wheel. I mean, if anyone's thinking of up in their game a little bit you haven't got to spend a fortune I mean this is the Logitech Log <laughs> I can't speak now Logitech G920 steering wheel and it comes as a bundle you know the pedals the gear shift and the wheel um, and you can use this on Xbox and PC but if you want one to use on PlayStation you've got to get the Logitech G29 and that you can use it on 
PlayStation and PC. And so I've got the next level racing wheel stand and it is rock solid. Really oh hold on, hold on. Yeah it is rock solid this stand but so the main reason I've got this one over the other ones I was looking at, they was all good, but this one you can you can expand upon it, you can bolt a seat to it, you can bolt a, a, a full motion platform, you know, motorised, but that's a bit bit pricey, but you know, maybe in the future. But what I really want to get involved in is uh, VR. You know, I want to get the valve index. Yeah, all right. I'm going as hard as I can. But yeah, the valve index VR that does look good. Imagine doing it with this, with these sort of games. You know, I want to do it with the old flight sims and the space. Is it elite dangerous, them sort of things? But before I can get the VR set up, I've got to get a decent gaming PC built. Yay! <laughs> Pole, first place. Right, so... So that was... 20 minutes 49 and what did I get I got did I get the best lap let's have a look I got best lap 253 439 I got let's just go down the pack has everyone finished yeah well I don't believe that First place and best lap. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And no penalties. That's all good. Right, so. Well, let's just. Um, I'll show you the replay. Now, sometimes it messes up, but. I tell what I am going to do. Let's just save it first. What an awesome looking car. I still I still like the look the old escorts. Mark twos are good as well, but these Mark ones, awesome. Let's change the views. So if we go to all cameras, come off of here for a minute. Yeah, I've like always liked these games because you can always save the replay of the race you've done, and and there wasn't, there weren't many. There were, I can't remember being any much crashes apart from what I did, like little taps there but it's, this is cool if, it's, if you've not used a wheel I mean this is only like a you know like a low end wheel set up and it won't break the bank so if you think about you know I'd like to get a wheel pedals and I mean as I said it's come in a box as a bundle um, I can't remember what I paid for it uh, I can't remember now, but, but it is, it's definitely worth worth doing. And the good thing with this, you can bolt it onto a desk. It's got like clamps on it. I mean, this is actually bolted and clamped. Um, and you can even use it on a coffee table, you know, and play it sitting on the settee. Um, I prefer being a bit nearer for this sort of setup. I'm, I suppose I'm about about four foot away from the telly, I suppose. 
I did try and I did play it further back, but it was hard, you know. I mean, before I had this next level racing stand, I was just it was just bolted to a coffee table. Um, and you've got to have a chair what isn't a swivel, like an office chair, because obviously you're turning left and right, you're all wheels, and you do need a chair what's quite low. So this is why I opted for the good old fashioned camping fold up uh, chair. <laughs> but yeah, it's good it is. Right, I think we're gonna call that, call that an end. But yeah, if anyone's got any any ideas of what they want to see me race or tracks, just, just leave a comment. Um, or just comment anyway, whatever, what you know. But as I say, at a later date, I might up the uh, AI's ability because I've had this now, this game for what? Just over a month, a couple of months, something like that. Um, and as you can see, they, they are sort of, they are attacking. Um, but I might, I might up the ante with the, the AOS level. But one thing at a time, you know, so normally I'd have the racing line, only in the corners. Um, and I used to have the driver assist on. Um, again, I was using the, uh, the paddles on the wheel for changing gear. And I'm using that. So one thing at a time you know trying to take the stabilizers off uh, and we'll see what happens you know but anyway I'm not going to bore you anymore with all that that was uh, I really enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed watching me have a little fresh van Scotland and uh, and just thanks for watching subscribing sharing and all those wonderful things and live long and prosper and may the force be with you Cheers guys, catch you next time.